It's time to bring out the old cardboard boxes from your closets. Cause now I'm gonna show you some cool stuff you can do with them. Hey box! Hi Einstein! Did you ever want a puppy but couldn't get one? Are you crazy? I have always wanted my own puppy! Well, let's make one out of a box. But first, we'll make a work drawing. Close up and glue the cardboard flaps before you start working on the box. Now let's draw! Picture a box as the body of a puppy. It has a head at one end, big ears and sharp teeth, a tail, four short legs, and we have a puppy looking over his shoulder. We start with making a sketch with pencil. First, draw a curved line across the front of the box. This will be the puppy's face. Next, draw some eyes. Blocking slightly off to one side. Under the eyes, draw a nose. Start it on the same side as the face, but carry it on around the side. On top of the box, above the face, come the ears. a tail with a bit of a twist. Great! We're now ready to go over the lines with a thick black marker pen. It's always good to draw with the pencil first, because then you can try stuff out. Experiment and make mistakes. Only use your marker pen when you're completely satisfied with your drawing. You can also use a brush dipped in paint. But this requires a bit more skill, as the lines are quite thin. Now the drawing is finished. Nice and easy. Paint! And now it's time to paint it. Let's start painting with some white for the eyes. White always looks great against the brown box and the black marker pen. A strong contrast. Next, I'm going to mix some water in with some dark brown paint. This thins out the color a bit. Paint around one eye, being careful the paint doesn't run or blend in with the white. Continue painting some brown spots around the puppy. The great thing about this thinned paint, with no white paint added, is that it's see-through. And some of the brown box color is visible through the dark brown paint. The two colors blend together really well. The nose should be black. Here you can choose whether to use a marker pen or a brush with black paint. When the paint is dry, dab a bit of white on the tip of a narrow brush and paint a dot on the black nose and on each eye. These highlights give a bit of extra shine. Now grab your marker pen again and freshen up any lines that got covered in paint. What do you think? Is our box starting to look like a puppy? Now we have a cute box puppy we can play with, but if we want to go a bit more advanced, we continue to... Cut! Then it's time to cut out the parts and open the box. Get the grown-up to help you with this bit. First, cut the nose out from around the side. Then cut around the face and fold it out slightly. Do the same for the ears. And finally, the tail. 
Start folding out, one piece at a time. First the ears. Then the nose and mouth. And the tail. Now our puppy is really starting to take shape. And we are ready to... Then we prepare all the little parts that we need. First, take two toilet rolls and cut them in half. This makes four equal parts. We also need a pile of small cardboard triangles like these. I'll show you how to make them. Take a sheet of cardboard and draw a small strip with a ruler. Then draw a zigzag pattern along the strip to make triangles of roughly equal size. As you can see, we get triangles at the top and at the bottom. These make great teeth. Squeeze some glue into a small ball. Dip the edge of a triangle into the glue. Share some of the glue with another triangle. Then stick them into the mouth under the nose. Press on well so they glue properly. Do this again all the way up the mouth. Now glue the legs on. The best way to get glue on one end of a toilet roll is to dip and twist it in your bowl of glue. Then stick the legs in each corner with a bit of space at the front for the face. Do the same for the hind legs. Now we need some more paint for the teeth and the feet. Use the same colors as before, white and dark brown. First white for the teeth, then dark brown for the feet. A ring around the bottom of the toilet roll legs will do just fine. The ears stick up quite a bit, so they need support. Get two small strips of cardboard and glue them to the back. Now our little puppy is ready to charm the world. What do you think, Box? You like the puppy? I love it so much, I could eat it all up! Let's watch it one more time. Start by drawing the puppy on the box, first with a pencil, then with a marker pen. Next, paint with white. Brown. And black. Plus a little dash of white for the nose and eyes. Then cut and fold out the nose, mouth, ears and tail. Now create the parts you need for teeth and feet and glue them on. They also need a dash of paint. Finally make sure the ears stick up and our puppy is finished. You can also turn your puppy into a news puppy. Cut out a hole like this behind the puppy with the help of an adult. You can put old newspapers in there. And today's newspaper can go in between the teeth. Box, how about you? Do you have any more ideas? 
Sure thing! You can use the same method to make other puppies such as this cute puppy. Or this even cuter puppy. Or this absolutely, totally, 100% cute puppy. Sorted! Easy! There are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. Now, can I have the newspaper, please? Yep. Come on. The newspaper. Come on. Puppy. Give me the newspaper. Come on. The newspaper. I want the newspaper. Ah, paper. Be sure to check out my other videos like this one.